hi welcome back to another video and in this video I want to help you how to fall in love with reading books that's really uh, one thing that is so I think a lot of people struggle I mean a lot of people don't like to read and uh, here's why that's why I want to uh, make this video and try to give my perspective and some really like tips on how to how to really fall in love with reading so first of all not everyone likes to read as I said and not everyone should read so it's really okay if someone don't like to read if someone don't don't want to actually fall in love with reading that's perfectly fine everyone can and should make his own decisions and that's perfectly fine but what I believe and what I think is that reading is really useful it changes you in, in a huge way and it doesn't matter what you're reading it just changes you really uh, wi passively without a actually doing anything you're just being changed because you're reading and as well I think everyone could fall in love with reading because just as everything you do uh, it takes some time and it's always difficult in the beginning so when you first start doing whatever when you first star start training just as when you first start reading or when you first start doing something like new playing an instrument or something else it's really difficult and it takes it takes some time to uh, get get going and to get into that mood but uh, what i believe is that is that uh, when you read long enough when you give, give yourself enough time then you will fall in love with reading and that's really a uh, matter of practice and consi consistency and actually your willingness to uh, go through that hard times and effort you're gonna put in so first what I would say is that you should uh, start with why uh, for me I tell myself a story uh, as I said in uh, this video that I love reading forever and uh, that I loved reading since I was born and that's something I have feeling about and that's what I tell myself but for you it would be something uh, really different and you're gonna find out your own story so uh, first start with why start with why would you want to start to read and uh, what's what's your motivation behind uh, starting to actually practice and uh, start with reading for someone it could be that you want to read something and just w because of reading just for nothing else but just to, to read maybe because you have have some spare time and you just want to read or for someone else it could be that you want to learn something that's gonna be a really huge huge uh, benefit and uh, motivational tip because you're gonna have a like clear guide and clear goal where you want to go so if you want to learn something from from books that's a great great thing or there's something else something some else reason and that's what you have to discover for yourself after you discover what's your reason what's your motivation why you want to read then you should do some research and you should uh, research about genres of the books and uh, what what genre uh, fits you the best so uh, when you take a look at a lot of genres uh, genres then you will see which one suits you the best and which one feels the best for you maybe for someone else it would be easier and better to read novels for someone else it could be non-fiction or autobiographies for me uh, in the beginning it was novels and then I switched to the non-fiction and then uh, I combined it with the uh, uh, autobiographies and now I read all of that I read non-fiction and autobiographies and uh, like novels that's mostly like genres I read but there are a lot of other genres really and some specific more like uh, detailed uh, no genres of books and that's what you have to research for yourself and find what's the best for you what you enjoy the most uh, what you enjoy reading the most and then when you find that go uh, more deeper into that genre and find the book that seems the most interesting to you so really give yourself enough time and try to find the book that has the most compelling title that is uh, that f like feels the best for you 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 will really on the first sight when you first read the title of the book you will know 
if that's the right book and you will feel that and that's what you have to uh, do what you have to go through ju just really uh, f go through a lot of books uh, find a lot of books and then which one fi which one feels the the best for you pick that one and then start then when you pick the book then your journey begins so really when you pick that book uh, set a goal that you read one page a day only one page a day and you don't have to read anything more but you can't read less than one page Wh and you pick uh, one specific time in a day when you're gonna read so for someone it could be just when you wake up so in the morning you wake up and then you read for someone else it could be right before you go to sleep then you read and then you go to sleep so pick time pick the time in the day for yourself and just when that time arrives you have to start reading and read at least one page a day at least one page in every session of reading and if you feel on some days if you feel that you can read more than one page go with it go with the flow and just read and don't stop yourself until you have to go somewhere else or whatever also you will have uh, some days when you will just not be able to force yourself to read and on those days you have to read at least that one page because uh, often you will realize that when you don't feel like reading and you start reading you read one page and you want to read you s suddenly got the motivation and you want to read more that's why you have to read at least one page a day and keep that habit like every day you have to read every single day uh, no matter if it's sunday or any other day you can really pick 10 or 15 minutes for reading and you have you have to you should read uh, at that time and really you'll realize after maybe two weeks or even like maybe even one week but let's say after two weeks or one month you'll realize that you're really getting into the flow with reading and that you really like reading you that's becoming your routine and when the, that time of the day uh, comes you really like feel uh, like you have to pick up the book and start reading and just really give yourself enough time don't be hard on yourself uh, don't force yourself too much but you have to do that bare minimum of one page a day and then just watch how you're uh, falling in love with reading give yourself enough time and uh, i mean uh, not every love is on the first sight we fall in love with uh, someone after like uh, half half a month half a year uh, a year so just give yourself enough time be consistent be uh, like uh, be willing to work hard and uh, what's the most important thing is to try to really enjoy that reading tell yourself that you really love reading that you enjoy when you're turning the pages and when you're going through those words tell yourself that it's like a meditation that you're really uh, relaxed and you en you're enjoying those minutes that you spend reading as i said be consistent give yourself enough time and then like one day you'll realize that you really love reading and uh, before that you've done a lot of like uh, hard work and that's that's perfect it's not gonna be easy maybe it will be a uh, quicker maybe it will take you a bit a little bit more time but no matter how much time it takes you just stay consistent and you will realize that you suddenly fall in love with reading that's what i think how could you fall in love with reading definitely try that out and uh, write down in the comments how, ma how many days it took you to fall in love with reading and what what is your favorite genre of the book to read thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video